Hello and welcome to another reading from the book Our High Calling, a Daily Devotional. Today's reading is entitled First Things First, October 7th. Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or wherewithal shall we be clothed? Matthew six thirty one. The Lord would not have any one of us be presumptuous, care not for health, and make no provision whatever for a sustenance. But when he sees the world taking all the thoughts and absorbing all the affections, he sees that eternal realities are lost sight of. He would correct this evil which is the work of Satan, the mind which should be trained to high elevated contemplation of eternal realities becomes common, bearing the image of the earthly. Jesus comes to present the advantages and beautiful imagery of the heavenly, that the attractions of heaven shall become familiar to the thoughts, and memory's hall be hung with pictures of celestial and eternal loveliness. He sees the chambers of the mind filled with those things which defile. He places God before them as the center. He passes through the market places where everything is full of activity and bustle, and the voice of the traders is heard. The lessons he gives in the dense crowd that gathers to listen to his words are a warning from heaven, like the trump of God, to break the spell of infatuation. What shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall he give in exchange for his soul? Mark eight thirty six and 37 The great teacher gives man a view of the future world. He brings it with its attractive possessions within the range of his vision. He presents the actual claims of God and heaven. If he can fasten the mind upon the future life and its blessedness in comparison with the temporal concerns of this world, the striking contrast is deeply impressed upon the mind, absorbing the heart and soul and the whole being. He thus removes the things of time and sense from the affections where they have had the supremacy and gives them their place as subordinate to the higher and eternal realities. He invests life with the highest responsibilities. He shows man that he must live to a purpose separating from all life's vanities. Thank you for listening today. Be sure to join me tomorrow for another reading from the book, Our High Calling. God bless you.